G'day Trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist coming to you today with a product feature. This happens to be a brand new saddle from WTB Wilderness Trail Bikes. A saddle they've designed specifically for gravel, cyclocross, adventure riding, whatever sort of madness you want to throw its way. It's known as the Gravelier. So here's the spiel on the Gravelier from WTB themselves. The Gravelier represents the pinnacle of pedaling comfort and performance for those gravel riders who put in miles or kilometers at an expeditious pace. The Gravelier is WTB's first gravel specific saddle. It features the company's fusion foam based technology, a perineal cutout, AKA a hole, if you want to get technical, integrated tool mounting, and a modern shape. Up close, the Gravelier, there are different variants which I'll cover momentarily. WTB say this saddle is built for speed, built for distance, and built for gravel. And also, according to WTB, gravel riders tend to pedal in a forward leaning position for long periods of time. I ride a little bit differently to that, but you might ride in that manner. Regardless, to accommodate this riding posture, the side profile of the Gravelier curves from tip to tail and cradles the pelvis to provide locked-in support, so to speak. The mid-length portion of the saddle quickly widens out to extend the range of comfortable sitting positions as riders shift forward from the primary support zone. WTB then goes on to say, this saddle has the best of both worlds in one saddle. Next, they're all about removing numbness from this saddle. So the perineal relief cutout of the Gravelier improves blood flow and reduces numbness in sensitive areas when the hips are rotated forward in an efficient forward leaning pedaling position. Let's remove the saddle from this placard so we can see the base of the saddle as well. Flip it over here. And this saddle does have carbon rail, which I'll talk about in a moment. Back to the spiel about pressure relief. WTB collected pressure mapping data of gravel riders in their natural pedaling positions for extended periods of time to determine the best size and placement of the cutout. So it's quite a lengthy cutout, as you can see here. Pressure mapping also showed the nose of most saddles created unwanted pressure and numbness, which is why the forwardmost tip of the Gravelier saddle quickly tapers downward to improve both comfort and thigh clearance whilst pedaling in the primary support zone. From end to end, this saddle measures 246 millimeters in length. And in the case of this saddle, it's also 140 millimeters wide. According to WTB, whilst this saddle might be short, the nose is wide and features additional padding to provide additional support when a rider scoots all the way forward in order to dig deep for maximum power. And there is a decent amount of padding there, and you can see the cutaway extends to the nose almost the entire way. So if you like riding on the rivet, as they call it, that's gonna be pretty beneficial. If this saddle works out, it could also be a pretty sweet saddle for time trialing. I used to be into time trialing years ago. The next feature is the Fusion Form Base, which also apparently optimizes power. What they're saying here is the Fusion Form Base technology, the base being underside of the saddle, obviously, allows WTB to fine tune the amount of fiber infused into the nylon of each specific saddle model to create a flex profile that balances comfort, support, and durability to match the intended use of a saddle. The Gravelier's unique base provides a supportive and responsive flex profile that optimizes power transfer under hard efforts whilst also absorbing vibrations transferred through the bike. The base itself is covered in a thin yet supportive padding to provide the perfect amount of flex and cushioning over rough terrain while remaining lightweight and spry. Let's twirl the saddle around for you. Next product feature, there are four 
different types of rail. This happens to be the top tier model being carbon. There's also titanium. Both of these models featured the DNA padding, whilst the model with stainless steel features a different padding, and there's also a chromoly version as well. Now, the DNA padding, which is the highest performance, apparently holds its shape incredibly well to provide unbeatable comfort. And here's the back of the placard. Little information for you. And you can see specifically on the saddle I've got here, carbon, thinnest padding, fusion form, flex tube nylon. WTB claims this top tier variant of the Gravelier saddle tips the scales 160 grams. Let's see what happens. Okay, that is bang on. Actually, it's, well, 159, 159.5. That is extremely impressive lightweight. The other feature, there is an extended clamp range and integrated tool mount. So you could slap on some seller accessories from a brand such as Pro, which is so the extended clamp range that was to allow riders to slide backward or slide forward. This saddle is quite a generous amount. So they did that by extending the flat portion of these rails. And the final bit of intel about this saddle, this particular variant is the priciest at $250 US. The tie rail version, $143. Stainless steel, $120. And chrome molly, $95.95. If you want to check out more information about the WTB Gravelier saddle, visit WTB.com. So there you have it, my product features video of sorts of the WTB Gravelier saddle. This isn't a review. Saddle reviews can be very subjective. Saddles are very personal. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting content such as this. Get out of that, will ya? Right experience videos. No bullshit. Gravel bike reviews, other product reviews. And of course, general madness featuring these bloody crazy dogs. As all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you. I'll see you uh, dogs, eh? Yes, right. In the next video.